Welcome back to Clark Spoon TV. It's finally spring and we have Atlantic Bonito, Spanish mackerel, and bluefish flooding our beaches. Today we want to talk about our favorite way to catch these species and that's by casting. It's a really fun and interactive way for anglers of all skill levels to catch fish. Just a quick rundown. I have a seven foot medium light action rod. I have that paired with a 2,500 to 3,000 size reel. Spooled on the reel is 15 to 20 pounds of braid. Remember, the smaller diameter braid that you have equates to farther casting distance. So we try not to go over 20 pounds. Attached to our braid is our fluorocarbon leader. We try to use between two and three feet of 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. If you're getting a lot of bite offs, you can bump that up to 40 pounds. Attached to our leader is our Clark Spoon stick jig. Let's tie one up. All right guys, I have a couple different casting jigs here. I have the Clark Spoon stick jig, one with the inline hook and feather, the treble hook option. I have a Clark Spoon minnow jig, as well as a Clark Spoon shad jig. All great for casting the Spanish mackerel, bluefish, and Atlantic bonito. Then I have my 20 pound braid main line, as well as my 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. First thing we wanna do is attach our main line to our leader. I'm a firm believer in using as little hardware as possible. So we're gonna attach our leader with a double uni knot. It's a really simple and strong knot. First thing you wanna do is put your two leaders together, create a loop on itself, put your tag in through the loop four to five times. Cinch it down. You've now created one uni knot. You're gonna do the exact same thing with the opposite tag in. Create a loop. Put your tag through that loop four to five times. And cinch it down. Lube her up. Then you're gonna pull those two knots together creating a double uni knot. Then you'll snip your tags, close to it as you can, without nicking your main line. Then we'll get our bait of choice. I'm gonna put on the stick jig. We'll attach that using a fisherman's knot. Put your tag in through the eye of the bait, twist it on itself six to seven times. Put your tag through the closest loop to the eye and then back through that middle big loop that you created. Cinch it down and you are ready to do some casting. All right, now that we are properly rigged, we want to go over some simple ways that you can effectively use Clark Spoon casting jigs. One of the easiest and effective methods to use these is when you see actively feeding fish on the surface. This bait can cast a very long distance. If you can cast past that school and retrieve it at a fast pace, it'll usually initiate a bite. Or if you know there are fish in the area but they're not actively feeding on the surface, this jig can be casted out let it sink in the water column for five to 10 seconds. And then again, a faster tree to the boat. I hope you guys enjoy today's tips and tricks and I hope you get on the water and catch some fish. If you're interested in any of these products, you can find them at www.clarkspoon.com. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. We'll see you guys next time on Clarkspoon TV.